Okay, we're looking at sulfides here. We have here this being marcasite. This is marcasite, which is um, FES2, same thing as pyrite, just different crystal habit. Native copper. See the green right there. And we have galena, which is pretty easy. Perfect cleavage in three planes. And sphalerite. Here's some sphalerite. It's zinc sulfide. In the, or, yeah, so there's a little bit of sulfur right there. I have my camcorder to soon. I'm not talking to myself. No, I noticed that. That's okay. why I wasn't saying anything. Okay. So this is phalerite. Um, sulfur, pretty easy. It smells sulfury. Um, pyrite. And calcopyrite. This business over here. Here's some boronite. Notice it's got that blue sheen on it. And it's copper iron sulfide or sulfate or something. So definitely a blue sheen on it. That's boronite. Stibnite. Notice it's kind of got these elongated crystals in there. Stibnite, if you were to look at some pretty stibnite, comes in these long things like this. Marcasite, I think we already said that. Graphite is number 10. That's not it. Well, although this is cinnabar, it's pretty stuff, but it's nasty because it's mercury sulfide. Okay, this is for rocks and minerals. And this here is magnetite. Got it. This is. Um, dolomite. Is <laughs> dolomite here? Because it's probably so good to study off of. This is probably uh, this is straight from the book right here. I did this last semester in physical and it worked amazing. Really? Yeah. This is turquoise for obvious reasons. Party at Kirby South. Halite. Or not? It's not halite, but it's rock salt. Whatever. Um, this is ciderite. No, it's not cheating. It helps you learn it. It's like photographic memory. Go. Ciderite. And uh, this is corundum. The little red things in there are corundum. Um, this is hematite. Hmm. This is what I'm used to it looking like, but it also can look like that. It has that blue sheen to it. Moving on down the line here. Soluble and hydrochloric Moving over here. We have spinel or spinel here. So spinel. And this is rutile. Yeah, this is one on the side. I go by the Oh, 21. Um, this is oregonite. It reacts with HCl. There's that twinning right there. Yeah. <clears throat> um, let's see, 28. 
This is appetite. And it's got this, I think it's hexagonal. It's really green. It crumbles easily. Yeah. Is this calcite? Burn that boy right. Where, where's my ultraviolet light? That would be helpful. Did he talk about what cleavage and fracturing? Is this fluorite? No, not really. <laughs> he doesn't really talk about a lot of stuff. He just laughs. I have a lighter. <laughs> we allowed it to. I'm going to eat one of these boys and see what it does. What if we had a black this lighter or something? Borax? Very soft. And this one here is barite. Well, that's the one that they're asking, they're asking about. Between the potential gypsum, potential barite. This is definitely gypsum right here. Got that greasy feel to it. This is chromite. I see a yellow flame right now. It's got a brown streak and it is the it's slightly magnetic. The powder sticks to the magnet. So Kirby, were you right on everything except the twenty one and the twenty five? Yeah. Yeah. Is this acceptable? And then, I think I covered this one already, but it won't hurt to do it again. This is ciderite. I don't want to see any sensors in there. Try it. What's it supposed to be? No. 